The nuclei of most atoms are stable and have not changed for millions of years. So remember that the nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons, which are held together by strong forces. Nuclei don't even change during chemical reactions, as the energy changes are too small, so only the electron configuration changes. But is this true for all nuclei? Well, some nuclei are unstable, meaning they struggle to hold themselves together. So this nucleus is unstable, as it's too big to hold together. Like, for example, if you were to try and hold loads of tennis balls in your hands at once. Large numbers of protons or neutrons can make a nucleus unstable. But you don't need to know the details of what makes a nucleus stable or unstable at GCSE. So what actually happens when a nucleus is unstable? Well, radioactivity is the process of unstable nuclei releasing particles or energy to become more stable. So we can also say that the nucleus decays. During nuclear decay, the nucleus becomes smaller, in a similar way to releasing some of the tennis balls, and it also becomes more stable. Alpha radiation is just an example of one type of radiation. Charge or energy can also be released for the nucleus to become more stable. But when will an unstable nucleus decay? Nuclear decay is a random process and only depends on the nature of the nucleus. So nuclear decay is random. We can't tell which nucleus will decay next or when, but it's a similar rate for all similar nuclei. It is not affected by external conditions such as temperature. This makes nuclear decay much more unpredictable as we can't speed it up or slow it down ourselves. It's not in our control. And this is a really important point that you need to know as it may come up in your exams. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.